just as we can have fixed points in dynamical systems, we can have periodic orbits. And those can be stable or unstable, just like in differential equations. So we're going to start with a piece of notation. Um, we are going to be taking compositions here. And we'll write F. And then in the superscript, a composition circle followed by an integer to represent the composition of F with itself n times. And now our definition a point p is a periodic point of period n if two conditions are satisfied first of all it's a fixed point of this composition so if we compose F n times and we apply it to P, we get P. But there is another requirement as well. This is not a fixed point. of the composition of F with itself R times. If R is less than P. And the second restriction is less cryptic than it might sound. Suppose that F of P equals P. So P is a fixed point. Well, then F of F of P is also P. So if we didn't have that second restriction, then any fixed point is also a periodic point of period two. And in fact, any fixed point would also be a periodic point of period three, period four, any period. And we don't want that. We don't want fixed points to also be a periodic point. So the second condition is just getting rid of that. The reason that P is not a periodic point of period two, in spite of satisfying this condition, is that F of P equals P, F circle one of P equals was p, one is less than two, so it thunks this second condition. Periodic points create periodic orbits. In particular, if you start with a periodic point p, and you apply F to it, you get another periodic point. And I'm drawing this in two dimensions just for clarity. What's actually happening is we're in R, so stuff skipping around the number line. But if you keep applying this function F, you keep getting 
periodic points and eventually we wind up back where we started and these periodic points that we get are called a periodic orbit.